That was a fun weekend. Fun Bye weekend. Man. Are we gonna have to put RB by your by your position title <laughs> now too? <laughs> I, I think just athlete athlete would be fine. <laughs> okay, as needed maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. You know, Thanks. we're very proud of you. So, um, and congratulations on this award nomination. That's so exciting. And this is two years for you, right? That's um, right. That's, that's awesome. Well, so tell me, when did you first feel led to start com uh, participating in community service? How did that come about? Um, just me being back in my uh, hometown and um, just giving back to the community I um, lived in when I was younger. And I remember me growing up and just going to Boys and Girls Club and, you know, not having like the uh, idols that just walk through the doors and just um, take a little bit out their day to um, just give back and um, inspire others. So I just really wanted to do that because I, did, I didn't get that. So that was a um, big thing for me just coming back from Auburn to here, just giving back to my community. That's awesome. So what projects have you participated in? Um, I did a couple of things. Well, I like usually I go to Boys and Girls Club like every um, Wednesday and just give out pizza and just play around with them. And I also um do the um Casa uh, Christmas drive, and um I usually pick out a hand full of families and just um bring them around the facility, show them um the things, and um uh, just have gifts out on the field and let them um open those. And I also do like a back to school uh, fun drive where. I do a backpack drive. I have snow cones, food, um, water slides, and all that, and just have just have a whole bunch of fun. Yeah, just be that good example, that mentor for yes, the kids. That's awesome. Well, I'm sure all through the time that you've been doing your community service, you've had several instances where you know you felt touched or moved. But is there one particular instance you can think of that made an impact on you and your heart and? Mm -hmm. um, you know, what really touched you that, that you can just say, Oh, that was, that was it. Yes. Well, uh, it was, so I, um, participated in like OPC. It's like a day camp. And, um, it was just one little girl that, um, uh, always was like shy, never like just express her feelings or anything like that. And, um, it was just one day, it was like one of my last, days there before um, I had to like lock in the football when um, summer football was over with and she was like you know sad in the corner so I went to talk to her and she was just explaining to me how she um, was in like a foster home and she really didn't have like that um, father um, in her life and she was just telling me how much like she I meant to her and how um, she idolized me as a um, like uh, um, elder of hers, and um, she really just opened my eyes up to, like the like I I didn't know I was impacting her life in that in that way. So just um the little things that I do for her, like just tell her good morning, how her day going, really just um took that a long way for me because like you never know when somebody's going through something or anything like that. So that really just uplifted me and uh, opened my eyes. And how did you carry that lesson? for you over maybe into athletics, just realizing that maybe some of your teammates, you don't know what they're going through too sometimes. And yes, yeah, so you could be, you could be blind to it. Cause I mean, it's every day you coming in, it's the same thing repetitive over and over again. And people try to put a um, smile on their face every day. And I I'm one person that usually just come in and try to put a smile on my face and not show my emotions. But sometimes you just always got to check in and um, check into reality. Like, Life is going to life and things are going to happen. But um, I just try to come in and then, you know, just be that light, be the um, positive energy that I can be, asking everybody if their day going. And you can, you can tell from people where, like, oh, he not acting like he usually act or something like that, like something off, which is good if somebody can point that out because they are looking at the little things that they do. That's awesome. So part of the criteria for the Wolfel Trophy is being a leader on and off the field. To you, what does being a leader on and off the field, what all does that entail? Because that's just not, you know, being a leader for the team. That's in the classroom. That's all kinds of different things. So tell me what you think being a leader really is. Uh, it's it's really just being that example for everyone and um, just being able to take that role and not just – um, like just go do things, but like actually walk walk it too. You know, um, 
I've graduated and I still have classes to go to on um, on campus. So just those little things that the uh, freshmen see, like, oh, if I would have graduated, I wouldn't go to class. But they see me graduate and they see me um, walk on campus, don't get extra rides or anything like that. Just the small things that makes a leader so big because usually you got these different type of leaders where they are all rah-rah and don't really just – go by actions, even on and off the field. So just being able to do the right thing and um, just keep God first and um, just keep doing what um, he um, tells you to do. Like you put everything on him and um, he's just going to do what he says and we just follow his plan. So your faith plays a, a big part in your life then? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma a lot. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. So why do you think um, it's important for athletes and other people in the public life to be that example? for other people you know sometimes we see a lot of times we see you know athletes who do the wrong thing and and I feel like sometimes we don't hear enough about people like you who go above and beyond and and do things anonymously or just you know how how can we do that yeah it, it, it's so like a, it's so blind to it just because like everyone nowadays are looking for the bad things you know and it's kind of it kind of sucks to be like the guy that's always doing the um, right thing over and over and over and nobody just giving you a pat on the back. And that's something that like, I really just like block out the noise. That's something Kippen does a great job here. It's just telling us to block out the noise and just keep doing what we got to do and just get better every day. So for me, it's just me just putting my head down, do what I feel as God has planned for me. And that's just um, to impact each kid's life here any, and anybody else that I uh, interact with. And if I do get a pat on the back, um, that's a good thing. But I don't really just look for the pats on the back. I just look to impact somebody each and every day because you never, like you said, you never know when somebody's going through anything. And I just want to be be that light to them and um, just make their day. Part of the criteria for this nomination and to, to get this trophy too is to have at least a 3.0 GPA or higher. How do you balance academics and your personal life and academics? How do you find time for all of it? Um, like, well, here actually we have a um, great program where we just um, have a block uh, period where we just go up to, it's called FedEx here. And we got all our um, teachers and everything. And they just really just help us um, just be ahead on um, schoolwork. And it's, it's not really difficult if you put your mind to it because you really – do have some time. Yes, um, we got meetings and all that, but you have time to um, just decompress and just um, do your work and just uh, put your head down and do whatever you have to do. How do we encourage young people to get involved in community service? You know, nowadays we see so many kids that are just kind of self-consumed or they're get in the world of their video games or their hobbies or whatever, and they don't really look at the world around them and think about how they could impact, like you make such a great impact. How do you think we can get that over to young people today? I feel like we just should bring them along with us. Uh, I know when I go to Boys and Girls Club, I usually bring a different freshman with me, a younger guy, just to see the impact that they bring that they don't even know. Like, they might not know your name or anything like that, but they also think you're cool because you're on a uh, football <laughs> team. So I feel like just bringing them around it, uh, exposing them to it, and that might open up something to them, and they might impact somebody that they never thought they would. And just, I guess I'll just say just exposing them to it and just bringing them around it. Have you ever had the occasion to take somebody with you and then maybe they started their own community service drive of some way because they saw what you did? Um, Jared Ivy, he um he um went with me to like a little football camp that I um throw and he felt felt the love and passion for it and he um was like, Man, I just wanna do it for my hometown because like it's just cool just to see the kids that growing up in my hometown and being able to recognize me and um, know like my path a little bit and what their parents uh, tell them about me. So he said it was cool. And um, he said he'll do it at his hometown as well. Well, I applaud you for that. You're, you know, what you did and, and stepping out like that impacted even more people just by you being an example to somebody else. Thank yeah. you for that. Yes. Yeah, uh, what do you like to do when you're not, practicing and going to school and doing community service. What does JJ Pegues like to do in his off time? Uh, I'm really just, 
I just really I don't I just chill with my dog. It's me and my dog and Nah, that's my guy. So we just chill, watch YouTube, and um, I like doing magic tricks on the side. A little Really? magic, yeah. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, I got some magic tricks up my sleeve. Look at you. But um, yes, Maybe well, you'll do one of those on the season before the season's over. Maybe they'll film hopefully, you. You should hopefully do that one. keeps Yes, well. They see this. He needs to do a magic trick. <laughs> yes, well. And I'm from here, so I usually go see my parents and hang with them, my little sister. So. I mean, I don't do really much, but if I'm, like, doing something within the community, like, I feel like I'd just be out and about, but. I was at the ladies forum. And so were you the one when they were talking about places you like to go to eat in Oxford, you said your grandma's house. As well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't well. blame you one bit. I don't want. So in conclusion, when your time at Ole Miss is done and you've moved on to the next level, how do you want Ole Miss and Ole Miss fans to remember JJ Pegues? What do you most want us to remember you for? The one that just brought the light and smile no matter what. Like, we all go through every anything and everything. But if you just, you know, I want, well, if you keep the J.J. Pegues attitude, like, no matter what's going on, don't smile, get through it, um, give it all to God, and let him just work within us. But that's what, that's what, that's my main thing. That's the reason why I came back, just to give out to the community, give the love, and um, just see, see smiles on people's faces. Right. Was there anything else that you'd like to say or include today? Or did we kind of cover everything you wanted to cover? Uh, I th think that was it. I think we covered a great deal. Yes. Yes, well. Well, thank you for your time. And I wish you all the best the rest of the year. Um, you know, I'm friends with Miss Jenny Ingram. And, Yes, you know, Miss well. Jenny is praying. Well, we all pray for you. But now Miss Jenny is praying for JJ Pegues. Yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Well, you have a great rest of the day, and I hope you have a healthy year, and I hope I see you in Atlanta <laughs> in a few months. That's And the plan. uh, so thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. That's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.